This 26 Sports High School Hockey presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Welcome back everybody to second period. Welcome back everybody to second period action here at the WEX in Cadillac, Michigan. My name is Bill Dooley along with Jeff Castillo and the Vikings have a one to nothing lead as we start second period action. Uh, what do you think the coaches are saying to the players in the locker room? Uh, probably just a lot of a lot of more of what we saw in the first uh, period. I know the Vikings are going to be happy with uh, with their first period, and uh, Traverse City West, you know, they, they had some chances, they had some good pressure, just uh, didn't end up getting one in the net. But I think the Traverse City wants to try to cut down on the penalties a little bit. The Vikings are starting off with about 50 seconds of uh, power play here. All right, the Vikings in their own zone. Noah Scott up to Jordan Adlam. That puck is stripped away by number 22, Henry Linninger, and it goes behind the net to Zach Reese. Ben Farley for the Vikings. That is taken away by Adlam. He's turning at the high slot. There's a wrist shot, scored! Beautiful snipe shot there by Adlam. His second of the game. Yeah, and uh, you know, he, he saw he had some open ice there, took his time with the puck, kind of took a, a aim and let it rip, and uh, he beat him high side again. And I think uh, Tyler Buchanan was letting his defense know that he didn't he didn't see it. They got to move out on the shooter a little quicker. Yeah, they're going to learn. They're not going to be able to give him that kind of time to shoot because he'll make you pay, and he certainly did. So that is a power play goal for the Vikings, and they are up two to nothing quickly here in the second period. Off the faceoff, the puck will come back into the Vikings zone. Noah Scott. Nice move and a pass up to Ben Farley. Farley over the line. Gabe Gisher with a shot. That one is knocked out and then the drive over top of the net by Noah Scott. Gabe Gisher, nice move out in front. Buchanan makes a save there. Oh. That puck goes past Noah Scott all the way down the ice and there'll be an icing call against Traverse City, so it'll come back down into their zone. Do we have any assist on that? Uh, he did say uh, number 11, Ben Farley, and then he was started to say number 26. I'm trying to think if we have a 26. We do not have a 26. There is a 16, David Carpenter, but I don't think he okay. was on the ice at the time. We'll have to wait and check yep. on that. We'll double check on that, but that could be just a lone assist with, for Ben Farley. Carpenter puts it into the zone, going after it. Coming up the boards quickly is Garmhausen. Mike Gussert, he'll reverse it over in the corner to Gerstenberger. Nice move there. And Carpenter for the Vikings has it. Coming out to center ice. Carpenter over the line, there's a wrist shot deflected into the corner. Keeping it in at the point is Brock Taylor for the Vikings. So they kind of have the Titans a little bit on their heels. Yeah, they do. Here comes a two on one. Alexi Koff, oh, just wide of the net was number 20 and the net is off its mooring. Yeah, I don't think that was done on purpose though. He was uh, waiting for that quick shot from the, from the front of the net. End up popping the net off. That was number 20, Bent Petrowski with the shot. And the referees will get the net back on. Face off will be deep in the Vikings zone. Adlam will face off. It's just hard to see the numbers on Traverse City uniforms. Yeah, it is. Some of them have those jerseys tucked in and yeah. can't see much of that number. That puck will carry down into the west zone. The Vikings will regroup at center ice, and Justin Smith will ring it around the net. Stopped there by Buchanan. He leaves his for his defense. Comes back to the point. That one never got through a shot by Fox. Gisha battling hard there with a number two number 14s. That's Sam Terrell. Terrell and Gisha coming out of the corner. There's a a semi-trip that maybe could have been called. Now, Adlam, nice pass. And I think Buchanan made the save in a wraparound. That one goes just wide. 
Oh, there's a stick up in the mask of Matt Fox. In the corner is Gabe Gishek, comes up to three. Joel Cherney for Traverse City. The puck is in the corner now. Fox tried to come out front, and West is just going to put it down the ice. Yeah. Well, and at that icing. point, that was probably a smart play by Traverse City because they were really struggling to get the puck out of there. In my communications with Coach Graham from the Vikings, he was saying that uh, over the break, they were really emphasizing trying to win the little battles uh, for the puck and, and being more competitive. And I, I certainly think it's whatever they were doing in practice, it's worked because the Vikings have really been uh, battling and coming away with a lot of those loose pucks. Well, from the faceoff, a deflection there by Gussard. He chases it down and puts it in. Oh, that was just behind the net on that play. Vikings are battling behind the net. Centering play. Noah Scott going to try and keep it in. He gets to it first. Dumps it in behind the net to Zach Reese for Traverse City. Up the boards. Cam Leotard intercepted that. He puts it behind the net. Now Jake Benker. Nice check there by Mike Gussard on Benker. And coming out with it, three on two is the Titans. Got an offside. Got an offside delayed. Good pass up to Mike Gussard. Gusser with the long shot just wide of the net, but a crazy bounce almost back out in front. Yeah, he caught a break there knowing that puck hit the back of the net. Almost came right back out in front. Holy, bodies flying everywhere on that one. They got him kind of low on the knees on that one. Noah Scott. Nice pressure there by Kyle Sitkins. Sitkins in the corner. He's two-timed by two Vikings. Lance Petrowski tried to get the puck, comes back to the point. There's a shot. Nice save there by Nick Meyer. That was off the stick of Jake Long. Good battle going on. Some high sticks, and Adlam will come away with the puck. Adlam will take a little check there by Ty, Ty Vatabanker. And number eight, that is Garmhausen. Up to Vatabanker. He centers. Dumped into the zone. Lance Petrowski. Giving chase. Petrowski loses his stick momentarily. Kept in nicely there at the point. Alexikoff didn't get all the shot that he wanted on that one. The Vikings will just flip it up, dump it right in on net to Tyler Buchanan looking for a faceoff, and there will be one deep in the Traverse City zone. Now Matt Fox made an excellent defensive play. He got just enough body on uh the Traverse City player. I'm not sure what number that was as far as the shooter goes, but just enough to uh, knock him off balance. Uh, could have possibly saved a goal there. He was in good position to ring one up. Yeah, that was Alexikoff that had that opportunity. <laughs> so Adlam is right back out there. He's got two goals already. The Vikings are up two to nothing here in the second period against TC West. Justin Smith will keep it in. There's a loose puck going down in the Viking zone. Matt Fox will play it off the boards to Gisha. Nice pass. We got a two-on-one potential here. <clears throat> Adlam with the backhand pass. And now the Titans will bring it out to center. Good defensive play. <laughs> and we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Cadillac Castings. And Pizza Plus on MyNews26Sports.com. If uh, anybody would like a DVD copy of the game tonight, contact the station, and they can set you up. I think it's $25 for a DVD copy of tonight's game. They will also be replaying the games. Uh, I think this game will be Sunday at 4 p.m. on January 10th. Also tonight, right after the game, an hour after the game ends. <clears throat> All right, the action is back in the Vikings zone. Noah Scott up in the air, it gets past Jake Long, and we've got a nice scene against the Vikings, so it'll come back down to the zone. So far, the Vikings have not had a penalty, right? Correct, TC has uh, three penalties all in the first period, although one did overlap into the uh, second period, which the Vikings uh, took advantage of with Jordan's second goal. Uh, but the Vikings have uh, stayed out of the box tonight. All right, Traverse City has 
Garmhausen and Long on the defense. And Brady Douglas at center. I think that's the first time we've called Brady Douglas' name for Traverse City. Brendan Shanahan for the Vikings, number 10, is out there. Hayden Watkins for the Vikings, giving chase. Dumping it right back into the zone. Behind the net to David Carpenter. He'll stop, reverse his tracks, and get it up the boards. That one will go back to the point. Jake Long. Brady Douglas tried to shoot that one. Here's Jake Long off the crossbar. I don't think Nick Meyer saw that. He didn't even glance. Jake Long, the senior, just drilled one off the crossbar. Yeah, and the puck was rolling a little bit, and boy, I think he really got all of it there. Over Hard the to line. Tell what the puck is going to do. That was Shuff, and then Nick Meyer's just going to hold on to it. It was deflected, kind of a harmless shot, but nevertheless, the Titans are putting some pressure on. Yeah, they needed to come back strong after uh, the Vikings were dominating for the first five, six minutes of this period. That's probably the best opportunity there from uh, Jake Long hitting the crossbar because Meyer has made some saves, but nothing outstanding. Right. That and they had that two-on-one that uh, really didn't end up being a, a big scoring threat. But All right, off the faceoff. Puck goes back towards the point. That shot by Jake Reese never got through. The Vikings. Spent a lot of block shots tonight, Bill. Yeah. Nice job. Got a high stick coming up too. Well, it's going to be against oh, Traverse City for sure because the faceoff's coming back into their zone. Right. Oh no, maybe it was just it was a just puck a, played by a high stick. Yes. Whenever uh, a puck is played by a high stick to someone on your own team, the faceoff comes back into your own defensive zone. The Vikings, Adlam, had an opportunity in the slot. Pass up to Leninger. Taken there by Sitkins. Sitkins with the shot. Nick Meyer saw it all the way. Yeah. Well positioned, had his glove up, and he basically put it right in the glove for him. Made it easy for uh, Nick Meyer's save. Big crowd here tonight, Jeff. Uh, a lot of Traverse City and Cadillac fans. Nice to see. Yeah, it is. It's the hottest ticket in town, I'm sure. Well, there's girls basketball against TC Central tonight. Oh, okay. There's a nice save by Nick Meyer. And he'll hold on. A little extracurricular activity to the right side of the net. Well, and the, these, these, you know, these offensive zone faceoffs are all important. Uh, you know, you can get scoring opportunities right off the bat. So here's another chance. That one. Deflected up in the air. It's played behind the net. And Jordan Adlam will take a little elbow to the face. Gabe Gisha along the right boards. Off the stanchion and it comes out to center. Gisha will get it. Gisha with some speed. Trevor City clears. Brock Taylor is right there. And coming up with the Zach Reese. Up the boards to Leninger. Leninger avoids that check. Centers, there's a shot knocked away by Buchanan and then just cleared down the ice. The Vikings will take the icing. <laughs> oh, I have to chuckle just a little bit. Brock Taylor back there, he uh, earlier in the period had a guy lined up for a, a hip check, which is a deadly check, but it's an all or none check. You know, they look beautiful when you make contact, but boy, when you miss, you know, you're rubbing your backside because you hit the boards as the skater goes by you. And uh, I look like he had another guy lined up there. Mike Gussard on the faceoff. Yep, they're a, calling that too. They're calling it. They got a tripping penalty coming up. Delayed penalty. And it's touching up Jake Long. Traverse City is not too happy with this. Another power play coming up for the Vikings. It is going to be Mark Alexikoff going in for two minutes for tripping at the 8.55 mark. The Vikings, with a two to nothing lead, will get a chance to extend that to three. Uh, what player is that again, Bill? Mark Alexikoff, number seven. Ooh. 
Vikings have Gussert and Leotard, along with Kasprak, Noah Scott. That one makes it all the way through, and Buchanan will smother it. Yeah, he's been doing a pretty good job of not giving up uh, real good rebound chances. Failing to clear the zone. The Titans, they'll pass it over to Fox. Fox, rink wide. There's a shot out in front. Rebound by Leotard. Back to Fox. Good puck movement here. Scott, he'll give it in to number 15, Kaspriak. Kaspriak going for the deflection. Now behind the net to Gussert. Gussert tries to get it up to Kaspriak. Taking that puck is Garmhausen, but keeping it in is Fox momentarily. Nice clear there by Leninger. Coming out with the puck, Noah Scott. We've got 1-10 to go here in the power play. The Vikings tip it in the zone, but Jake Long, the senior, will take it, and he'll wrist it back to center. And finishing the job is Leninger. They'll go for a change. The Vikings will too. Long pass by Nick Meyer up to Scott. Oh, that one hurt. Jordan Adlin tried to clear it, and that one will go back down with 45 seconds left in the power play. Jacob Benker clears the zone. Noah Titans Scott. doing a good job on the kill so far. Yeah, they've overall they they've let done that a nice job. yeah let that first or second shot up, but since then they really haven't allowed the Vikings to get anything going here on this penalty kill. The Titans will clear it down with under 20 seconds to go here in the the Viking power play. It's two to nothing Vikings with seven minutes to go here in the second period. Now over the line is Gisha. Gisha trying to go wide. Tried to center it. Nice defensive play. Kept in though by Noah Scott. He seems to be everywhere tonight. That one deflected wider than that. Here comes Scott. Didn't get that one through. Nice play by Joel Cherney. And then tipped out to center. Here comes a break for Kyle Sitkins. Sitkins didn't have a good angle, but he got a good wrister off. Yeah, he did. I can't tell it. He's not the one that came out of the box, is he? I think he just came off the bench. He came off the bench. It was Alexikoff in for the tripping. So uh, uh, Kyle Sitkins we have as one of our other guests this morning, or uh, before the, the game. Yeah, he had a good clear shot there, just not much of an angle to work with. Ooh, good pace, good action here. From the faceoff. The puck is knocked out over the blue line and dumped back in by Sam Terrell. Brock Taylor will reverse course on that, give it to David Carpenter. Quick on the check there was number 12, Decatur. Vikings will clear the zone. They've been doing a pretty good job of getting that puck out of the zone. Dumped it in deep. Tyler Buchanan up the glass. Brock Taylor fanned on it and coming out with it is Kyle Sitkins. Sitkins down the right side. Good defensive play there by David Carpenter. Yeah, he never, got... Never gave him a chance. No, he didn't. Played him very well. The Vikings are going to go for a change. Yeah, Alex Kaspriak there for the uh, Vikings is uh, just fresh off the injury list there. He's uh, I'm pretty sure this is his first game of the year, actually. I think oh, he that one. had an unfortunate upper body injury right before the season started. Right. So, Mike nice to had a close chance there yep. on a deflection. Nice to see Alex be able to get back onto the ice. Oh. Alex Leotard for the Vikings comes out over the blue line. There's another slash by uh, Ty Vatabonker. Then going down heavy into the boards is Leotard coming to help out is number eight, Phillips, and there's Ian Munch, also behind the net. Getting a little bit chippy there by yep. Traverse City. And you got like their, they have their young line out there. Yeah, they do. Ty Vatabonker for Traverse City. There's a cross ice pass, and dumping into the zone is Harrington. Taking it away, Traverse City on a three and one. They lose control of the puck. 
That puck is still loose. Picking it up was number eight there, and he just did not get the shot off. That was Garmhausen. Tried to center it. There's another chance over top of the net. They got the Vikings hemmed in right now. Centering it out. Taking it is going to be number 17, Gerstenberger. He does not clear. Finally, it comes out to center ice. Vikings yeah, are going to be looking for a change. Yeah, there. they are. And uh, second period, as you know, we've got the long change. It's hard to get, get off the ice sometimes. They don't want to get tired here. Fans are calling for a hook on against Kalik. I get the, I guess they have a little right to ask for something, right? Yeah, I think so. It's been a little lopsided penalty-wise tonight. And an icing against the Titans with 3.52 to go here in period number two. The Vikings hold a two to nothing lead. Two goals by Jordan Adlam, their senior. Yeah, and that was uh, probably Traverse City's most sustained pressure they've had all period. Uh, They've had a few little odds and end chances down there, but haven't really been able to sustain any kind of pressure until now. Yep. It's a good little flurry. So the Vikings will bring out Shanahan and Gerstenberger, along with Scott Adlam, Carpenter, Traverse City, has Jacob Benker out there along with Schuff. And let's see who else do we have. Number six, that's uh, Brady Douglas. The Vikings. Had a chance, nice save, and Buchanan will hold on to the rebound, so that'll keep the face off deep in Titan territory. Well, he has been solid in net tonight. Yeah, the two goals were, you know, upper corner, beautiful shots. Right. Not much of a chance, but well placed. That puck comes off Jordan's stick. It just jumps off his yeah, stick. It, it really does. He's a uh, big player, obviously, very strong, and uh, he, he's, had a, he's had a tremendous shot for years. Digging hard now is Lance Petrowski. He could not get around um, Noah Scott, and Noah will start right back with it. He's got a guy open momentarily, Gersenberger, into the corner for the Vikes. He'll dump it behind the net. First one to it is going to be Lance Petrowski. He was lined up there by Adlam, but did not get a good piece of him. Over to Zach Reese. Reese with a backhander in behind the net. We got a Viking penalty coming up here, Jeff. Like a trip. It is a trip. And they're, they're looking for Jordan Adlam to go in the box. I don't know if that was from the others, his attempted hit over there or not. I not sure. So. I think Jordan thought that it was somebody else on the team. That's yeah. what he was arguing about. Nevertheless, the Vikings will have to kill off their first power play. So Gussard is out there. Now coming back to the net, that one is tipped into the netting. Good shot there by Benker. Kyle, Kyle Sitkins will face off at center. They've got Gavin Garmhausen on defense along with Benker. And Linninger is out there too. Henry Linninger back to the point. Linninger will take it back. He steps in. Wrists that one high and wide of the net. Garmhausen in the corner. Traverse City trying to get something settled down here. Good job by Gabe Gisha. Gabe Gisha with some good hard work there to put some pressure on and then chase Garmhausen all the way back into his zone. He's still going after the puck. Gisha. One, one man wrecking crew down there. Gabe Gisha, number 14 yeah, he's for the Vikings. Two guys there. Almost uh, drew a penalty against Traverse City. Great work there by Gabe Gisha. Now over the line. Falling down, cutting to the front. There's a shot. Oh, what a save there by Nick Meyer. Boy. Oh. I think they're both going to head to the box, Bill. Yeah, I know we've got Brock Taylor going for the Vikings, and they've got Lance Petrowski going off for Traverse City. 
Okay, so now my question is, we already got a guy in the box. Now we have a penalty from each team. So is it going to be four on three? Is it going to be five on four? It'll be five on four. The NHL would go four on three, but uh, those are offsetting. As long as those are offsetting two-minute okay. minor penalties. And we just have NHL wannabes. Tonight. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so it is still five on four. That oh, one nice hit shot. Nick Meyer right in the chest. There's a rebound. Another great toe, toe save. save. And he'll cover up. Nick Meyer once, twice, and then the third time with the toe. Boy, that's frustrating for the Titans uh, when they're getting opportunities like that and just getting denied by Nick Meyer. All right. Uh, we have Mark Alexikoff facing off against Ben Farley. Trying to break the seal here against Nicky Meyer. The Vikings are short handed for another 45 seconds. It'll come back to Garmhausen. Oh, through a maze of players, and it hit Petrowski in the leg. Back to Benker. Benker. Now in the corner, they centered it. There's a shot scored on the rebound. Well, persistence paid off on that one, Jeff. Yeah, they were uh, they, they were persistent. That's a good description, Bill. They finally got one in. I think they were starting to get a little frustrated, but kept right at it. And so, Nick Meyer made, made another good save on the first shot. Yeah, he did. So that draws them a little closer here towards the end of the period and also evens it up to, does it go to five on five play now? Yes. Okay. Two to one, the Vikings with the lead here with 120 to go here in the second period. Here's a giveaway right out front, Joel Cherney. Oh, he walked right in. And that was a great stick save by Nick Meyer. Cherney was all alone in the slot. And the Vikings will clear it out to center with under a minute to go here. Traverse City West is turning up the pressure. Here they come again, Joel Cherney. And it was number 20, Brent Petrosky, on that goal for the Titans. And I know uh, Jacob Benker is going to get one of the assists. Yeah, they just announced one assist, so I think that was it. Okay. Ben Farley with some good speed down the left side. He's got Adam in the middle of the net, but Buchanan will just cover up that. It's 34 seconds to go in the second. Two to one, Vikings. You are watching. Northern Michigan High School hockey action on My News 26 Sports. Jeff Castillo and Bill Dooley bringing you the action tonight. And we would like to thank our sponsors, Cadillac Castings and Pizza Plus of Cadillac. All right, thank face you very off. Much. Face off deep in the Traverse City zone. Gisha. There's a nice save by Buchanan. And then Garmhausen up the boards. The Vikings are first one to it. Kyle Sickens does not clear the zone. The Vikings put it out in front. Gisha has wrestled to the ice. That puck is still puck. loose out in front. And coming away with it is number 24, Benker. He's got Je uh, Reese in a nice save right in the bread basket. Wow, one side and then the other. Yeah, good action. Period is not over until it's over they say. 12 seconds to go. So it's a very important faceoff for the Vikings to try and gain control. And that puck is pushed back down. And that should do it. I probably won't have enough time to set up here. Could have an icing. And there will be with 1.4. There's enough to do some damage there. There is. There is. That's just enough time to get a draw and possibly a quick shot. Not what Traverse City wanted to do there. No. And Cadillac will pull their goalie, Nick Meyer, for the extra attacker with 1.4 seconds to go here in the second. Yeah, literally impossible for Traverse City to score on this. So I think Adam's going to go right at the net, yeah, if I yep. had to guess. He tried to go out front. That'll do it. And it is still a one-goal margin. After two, the Vikings scored early. 
and the Titans scored late, Jeff. Yeah, good solid period of hockey. Uh, Cadillac opened up the period, dominating there for about the first five or six minutes. Traverse City came back, had some good chances, ended up getting some power plays, action, and uh, finally did break the seal. Nicky Myers was just, you know, tough in there. Both goalies have really been tough in there tonight. Uh, outstanding play by the goaltenders. All right. Two to one Vikings after two. They'll put 17 minutes up on the board here for the third, and we will tell you that we will be back for third period action in just a moment. You're watching high school hockey on My News 26 Sports.